Hi, it's Michelle from Movement Lesson, and as many of you know, or maybe don't know, I have many courses out that help you with topics specific with Movement Lesson, but the one that I'm really excited about and proud of, probably because it's taken a year of my uh, plus of my time, um, is my new laser course. Now, the laser course is continuing. You know me, I don't stop at just one. Um, but the reason I brought into the laser is to help with the movement, the movement within. As you know, uh, movement lesson deals with the rotational touch, right? But right now I can feel where I want to work on areas of Claudia's head. But if I just add the laser, the laser stimulates inner rotation, right? And I can suddenly start moving her and bending her in positions that I typically couldn't deal with right away with my touch. I can get her there eventually, right? But if I take this away, right, I can't, I can't bend the head to the same degree, right? So when I'm bringing in the laser, So now that she's available in certain areas. So one of the things that you're going to be learning in the laser course is the midline sutures. Uh, I've developed and, and I'm presenting a whole movement lesson cranial program. The cranial program will be available with or without lasers, but right now it is a bonus into the laser course that you can't get anywhere else, the whole midline sutures. But where I'm also going into is nasal and ear cavities, your frontal bones, and then I'm going into the palate. So in this video, I'm gonna just give you a sneak peek of something that I'm working on um, going forward with the laser program, something to get excited about, but something that you're gonna need ahead of time um, is to work and know with the lasers and how they are needed for your child uh, or person specific. Uh, evaluations come with this course uh, which has never been had before really with with movement lesson other than the newborn assessment um, there are five books to go with the course so when you're working in with the palate there's so many things that that interest me of cranial really because my son was so profoundly delayed when all he had was an infection uh, we, we often think of is as the delays being brain-based, but in his case, they were system-based. You know, the system is the working of, of all parts together coming together, right? And, and the nasal and the ear system is remarkable on how they're connected, but the same with the palate. Now, for a grown adult, it's different. You know, you're working around, let's say, dental work, but face falls, things like that. When you're working with an infant to a child, you don't realize that the, the buds of the teeth produce, but there's like a shark, you'll get two rows. So the baby teeth drop down, you still have um, the other teeth before they erupt or come down into the jaw. So when you're working with especially the cheek area, now in her case, now I could say maybe braces also will affect the, the midline crossings. But in a lot of munchkins, they've had facial tagonerms or aging adults because of uh, oxygen being put around the cannulation, um, intubation, all sorts of different things, NG tubes um, to that restrict palate movement, um, dental movement, and that's something that I'm working with here. So when you're working with the palate, right, and I'm not going to show you everything here of course, but I want to show you when I'm working with someone See, it's not just about the teeth. You need the movement. So let's say, guess what? Now here, I'm having a hard time, let's say with her midline crossing, but I want, that's just a stress. And so now, one of the things that you learn, what if you also have astigmatism? A lot of the munchkins have a lazy eye, delayed visual maturation. Did you ever think that it could be a possibility of correlating with the mouth? Now again, without the laser, 
See, I don't get that coordination just, just yet. This is where I'd have to go a bit further, which you don't always have the luxury of getting in there and doing palette work like you would with the laser. And just that coordination that, that goes on. Letting her swallow. There she goes. Now again, just working on the frontal lobe, even though I'm touching the incisors to the frontal lobe, my objective, let's say, is her orbits, her ocular controls. I want to come in and just work the other side cheek again, considering if there was, again, taping, cannulation, any kind of intubation. Again, you can see the rotation that's used in movement lesson to work with these functions. But I'm telling you now, if you have issues with the maxillaries and the, the, the front incisors uh, crossing midline, uh, you're not going to get upper quadrant vision. Um, if, you, if you doubt me, make your teeth really tight and feel how difficult it is to suddenly look up. And this is what we're working on. So everything is connected, especially within the face. All this and more information is being offered within my instructional series with lasers. If you have any questions about anything um, about the lasers or anything that Movement Lesson has to offer, we have a wonderful group, uh, Movement Lesson for Parents and Practitioners on Facebook. I'm always available. I do Facebook Lives. You can do a great video review of your child, um, or I do a video review of your child. People have, that have concerns about what their child's doing or how you're applying movement lesson, they post the videos, and then I can come in and work with that. Now, what you'll learn more in the course is obviously there are times where I want the laser up close watching the eyes. No laser goes near the eyes. But also too, you will learn for pediatrics, this is not something that you'd be working on skull. I would have it more at the pelvis. So please uh, realize that right now I am working on an adult and you can see how I work on that rotational movements. I'm not leaving um, or using the lasers in a trigger point or a static position because there's no linear points in the human body. Um, and you really want to appreciate that. So in a rotation without a rotation. But again, detailed information comes from me. Please don't uh, look at a little video and, and think that that's your complete home program. Um, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not using the laser whatsoever for medicinal purposes. It's all for movement. And I'll see you at the group and I'll see you at movement lesson. Come into the clinic, come in for Skype, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.